Hi, it's Sam Tobert, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're taking a break from, phew, I believe we're up to 10 viewer requests, but I don't get to them all at the same day because I need time to also do other projects for this channel. We're looking at um, helping the musicians in the, who play a lot in the key of C learn to develop how will you build chords around the, the melody. I'm going to take the key of C. Now, as you can see, I can just jump right into it. My fingers go right to work. My thumb and my pinky know where their locations are going to be. So if I were going to pick, say, the Richard Smallwood song, I Love the Lord. All of a C major scale. Long as I live and troubles rise. I'll hasten to octave G, F, E, D, C, D, E, D, C, C. So now my fingering, because I practice the major scale all the time in every key, will know the location of where those notes should land. So I don't have to visibly look at it. So when I want to go build a chord, I look for the notes that could be in the scale first. So now my pinky becomes the top note or the top holder for the melody. With assist from the fourth finger. Now see how the picky stays with the melody, but the other fingers are now free to go and investigate the potential chords, either from the album or whatever is going on in my head. If I want to go and bring in additional chording with my left hand, that's when the knowledge of chord placement comes into place. I have to know that that's the chord in the song. I have to hear all these chords extended like this. Now all these chords are, as you can see, outside of the one chord which had the F sharp in it, which is the major two, they're all in the C major scale. It's a matter of playing the ones you don't want to hear. I want to hear one or the three, six, two, five, one. For those who are the uh, the uh, number system de dependent, but in each of those chords, the number system chords, I'm picking and choosing what I hear from the song, not necessarily what would be in the normal range. But as you can see, my melody is got a good bed of chords to ride on. Long as I live. Now here's a chord. These chords are still found in the major scale. I don't have that F sharp in there. I don't have to have it. 
Now this chord, because of the way it sounds in the song, it's going to resolve it to a three with a seventh on it, right? Ah. Diminish, major, minus, uh, minor two, major, three or one, minor two, and we're going to go to a five, but with a, with a four chord, which could be the two or the four, pick and choose, it's going to resolve, and to the one. So these chords are traditional in nature. You will hear them a lot in classical music, but also you will hear it in, in hymnal music also. What happens when you want to extend those chords maybe into a more contemporary world? the melody is important. Changing the chords. And here's the change. Now let's go here. skill set that I'm looking to pass on to those who do view my channel is to open your ears as well as your eyes to the, to the potential of taking any song that you hear and applying, first of all, the bass chords, those would be the ones found in the number system, then extended chords from that, those, we haven't even really gone minor yet, but those chords that you would hear in every song that passes your ears, be it, uh, well, nowadays, off your iPhone or your Android phone, certainly off the radio, television, movie theaters, anything that your ears can hear, finding what that tone is. And when you sit back down to your instrument of choice, be it a keyboard, uh, acoustic piano, an organ, or whatever it is that you use to practice on to create your sounds, to know the range of music that you have yet to tap into. And the only way that I can do that is to take you through demonstrations like this. The key of C is a very basic key, but it is no different than the key of D. No different than the key of E. No different than the key of A, B flat, B major, and, the, and back to C major. Once I can get across uh, to those who are viewing this channel how easy it is to build scales, chords, and progressions along with passing tones in any key, then you will find that your viewer request may go, the view request may go down because you'll be hearing everything that you practice in every song that you play in. Drop two. Then you hear. in its proper place, how you have heard it, number one, and then when you practice it, how you want to place it. For those who do a lot of talk music, drop two is the favorite choice of a lot of musicians. They want to go to that minor, they go to that minor, and then resolve and go back to that major, and then from right here, they'll want to go and go back here, then they'll go here, But 
then they'll drop it back down. They're just taking drop two and playing the scale notes of that drop two in whatever key that they find their hands close to, to go to. Now, I've often spoke of one note change, sharp or flat, changes the sound of a key. Change one note down, it changes the tone. Change another note, changes the key again. Change another note, changes the key that. Just by changing the key, change a bunch of them. What's missing? There we go. I know it's missing a note. Practice finding the scale, number one, looking at all the notes that are outside of that scale. These are all the notes outside of that scale. And then applying. What would it sound like if I were to play that note, that note, and that note, and that note? Now that sounds horrible. Take a note away. All of a sudden, doesn't sound as bad. Take away another note. Look at that. We got a tritone. But now, where would you use that tritone? Right there. Ah, that's the note we that note that we came out with, and we've add that becomes what diminished chord, and we can resolve it, which is the classical turn. Gospel music is so much fun, not just to play, but to describe it in a way that first-time musicians or musicians who are in the beginner stage going to intermediate can be, their, their ears can be enlightened as well as their hands. Sam Talbot signed with Joe Music Services. If you like these, these types of instructions, just let us know in the comments. As I say, we've got so many uh, viewer requests uh, and some people are actually, actually <laughs> have got six viewer requests in. I'm not going to get to all six of those, but I'm going to take them by one uh, screen name at a time. I think that's the fair way to do it. When you ask for more than one, you shouldn't get all you're all yours in and someone coming in brand new doesn't even get one done so i'm going to sift through them once again as well as continue to create things for this channel to assist every musician sam tobit sound of joy music services as again like the video if you if you want more uh, practical practical techniques in the key of c or any other key just let me know in your comment take care now and see you on the next video lesson bye